Hello everyone, welcome to this new video tutorial and today we will try to create a numbered heading in Microsoft Word and in Adobe Frame Maker. Now both are different authoring software and both have different way of functioning so we have different ways to create numbered headings for both the softwares. So what we would try to do is we would try to create a three level or three multi level uh, headings as you can see in this table of content so first of all we would use or we would go to Microsoft Word and uh, we are using a similar document in both the software so if you can see in this uh, document there are three headings used uh, the green one is the heading one the blue is heading two and further down the purple one is heading three and we would be assigning numbers to all this three heading and it would be a multi-level list as I have mentioned our goal is to create a multi-level list as it's as you can see here so first of all uh, in word go to numbered or multi-level list click on it and I would like to use this format in my multi-level uh, heading uh, style so you can click on it and then what you can do is click on it again and go further down click define new multi-level list now in this window that's a new defined multi-level list window select the first level and assign a style on the right hand side under link level to style select heading 1 go to the next level select or assign heading 2 go to the third one assign heading 3 so you can also make changes in the font but I would leave it as it is click on OK now when you click on OK uh, you can see the number changes or there's a numbers in the heading so I have to make a few changes here uh, OK now now if you can see here every heading is has a number associated with that for example this is label 1 well formed sentence it's using label 1 so it's 4 if you come down this is using this is heading 2 and it's using level 2 so it's 4.1 so if you go further down for example in this particular uh, page if you start if you start from the heading 1 that's matter and style it's using number 9 that's heading uh, that's level 1 if you f go further down it's level 2 and grammar and logic is heading 3 so it's using level 3 so it's very simple uh, this is the way you can assign numbers to your headings and you can create a complex heading style so I hope this would be easy for you to implement in your own document and now we would do the same in Adobe Frame Maker now before we do it uh, we would create a TOC out of it. See, what we can do, go to the reference, click on table of content, click on the first template which we can use and here you can see in the table of content there are three levels, heading 1, heading 2 and heading 3 so that's the way you can create in Microsoft Word alright so now we would do the same thing in Adobe Frame Maker alright now we are in Adobe Frame Maker we are using a similar document and similar structure so we would be doing the same in Frame Maker assign numbered headings but there are uh, certain things which we need to keep in mind now first of all uh, in Adobe Frame Maker we do not call it style we call it as a tag or a paragraph tag so there are three paragraph tag for heading heading this is for heading 1 this is heading 2 and if you go further down the blue color is heading 3 and all are visible in this paragraph catalog so currently we do not have a numbered heading 
but we would now try to create and there okay so first of all we would place our mouse in heading one okay now we'll come once you do that go to paragraph designer and click on the numbered tab all right now in the numbered tab this is an option called auto number format here we need to add certain variables which would create numbered headings so in order to create the first level what we have to do is we need to insert a variable so let's go ahead and add a variable that's H for heading and that's a series colon and then you can select N plus N stands for number add a dot and then N is equal to zero so and then you can add a tab and then click on apply click on update all now if you come down on the left hand side you can see there is a lack of space so what can be done is you can add a space here again click on apply click on update all perfect so we can see here the heading one has a numbered heading go to the second one so we'll select or place our mouse in the heading 2 paragraph tag and go to the paragraph designer and add a new variable under auto number format so add h as a part of series add n dot and plus tab space click on apply click on update all okay now what do we see here we see the numbering starts from 4.1 and this is heading 2 so it follows the heading 1 numbering format so if you come further down again it takes the 5 and so it starts from 5.1 perfectly fine now we'll go further down and you can see this is the heading 3 so we would add a new variable for heading 3 as well so let's uh, go to paragraph tag again second uh, add a new variable under order number format this is h colon n dot n dot n plus one click on apply click on update all okay I would leave a space here alright now if you can see down here it's heading 3 and it's using level 3 6.2.1 this is heading 3 if you come further up it's heading 2 it's using 6.2 and if you go further up it's using heading 1 at 6.0 so this is the way you have created a multi-level heading